Hey, don't let her in yet. I've not finished clearing the lounge. Pardon? Where's that bubble wrap gun for me pot shepherdess? <sighs> yeah. My wife Mary is uh, agonising over the arrival of this week's special guest, Tutty Wilcox, because she used to be a punk rocker, didn't she? And there's a video on YouTube that shows her um, destroying a, a lounge. But she's not going to do it to us, Mary. Don't be silly. Oh, yeah, I've got a letter in, Mary. Uh, don't you dare. I've still not done upstairs, John. Oh. Now, you've got to delay her somehow. Take her into the garden, whatever it takes. Oh, I know. I'll play a jingle on my uh, cassette player because I've got some new tapes now. Here we go. This will buy us a few seconds. From the comfort of my Sheffield home, I'm delighted to appear. By the miracle of radio, I trust I'm loud and clear. Music chat and this and that, designed to make you tick. It's John Shuttleworth's Lounge Music. Oh, should I hide the tape recorder? Yes, I'm coming. Oh, Toya. Hello. Sorry to keep you waiting, love. That's fine. How are you? You're right. I'm. I'm. I'm all right. Yes. Who, who's this gentleman that's with you? This is Chris Wong. He's my guitar player. We've come to sing you some songs. Oh, lovely. Fair well, busy. yeah. Hello, Chris. Hiya. Um, you're very welcome. Thank you. Uh, well, Chris is Toya. Oh. Uh, Chris, come inside, please do. Uh, Toy, I'd like you to just remain on the doorstep for a minute, if you will. Yeah, we'll see you in a minute, Chris. Rightio. See you later. Look, um, we'll go in shortly, cos I'm sure you'd like a cup of tea. And <laughs> it's just that I want to show you our garden. Oh, OK. Well, nothing much to see at the front. Uh, it's all been paved over for low maintenance. Right, and you recommend that? Yes, have you not done it yet? No, no. Have you got a big garden? I imagine you have. Yes, we do. We have a, a back garden. We don't have a front garden. We live on a high street. Do you? Yeah. I thought you lived in the Cotswolds. Mm, well, yes, but yeah. we still live on a high street. Oh, didn't think you were allowed to. Right, we're at the side now. Um, and we're going to access the rear of the property and the back garden uh, via a wrought iron gate, which prevents members of the public from entering. Ah. After you, Toya. OK. So it's not very rural where you are? Well, actually, the back of our garden's very rural because yeah. we have a river at the back, at the bottom of our garden. Do you? Yes. And we have... Is that you and Robert? That's me and my husband, Robert, yeah. The prog rock musician, Robert Fripp? Yeah. Yeah, because I looked on uh, Ken's tablet. <coughs> it sounds like he's poorly. Uh, it's not... It's, it's, you know, it's um, thingy bob. But um, anyway, come on, I want to see Randy. Yeah, Cotton. well... Um, Oof, Toya's gone waltzing off around the garden, examining all her plants. Not many of those, because my wife Mary and I don't really like gardening. Uh, we should keep things to a, a minimum. Ooh. And now Toya's having a look at Ken's garden, peering over the low boundary wall that separates our two properties. Ken Worthington, who of course is my sole agent, as well as my neighbour, and a regular contributor on John Shuttleworth's lounge music in the item Ken in the Conservatory which we'll be hearing a little bit later on uh, hopefully it's not gone too well so far in the series there'll also be top tips on the telephone from guitar legend Gordon Giltrap as well as a couple of numbers from our special guest Toya uh, I'll be with you in a minute Toya OK just going to play a jingle good job I brought my cassette player with me isn't it? <laughs> John Shuttleworth's Lounge Music. Mary. Oh. Oh. What, Jan? Is it safe to bring Toya into the house yet? No. Oh, why not? I forgot about the porcelain swan with the potpourri in. Oh. You know, in the alcove. Yes, I know. So leave it a few more minutes, John. Oh, all right. Thank you. You are right, Toya? Oh, totally. Sorry I haven't got a swing. I see you're admiring Ken Worthington's Anson Gretel, shall he? Yeah. I'm sure he won't mind. I think he's asleep in his conservatory. Yeah, he's just having a little nap. Um, that's him with the afro. OK. 
Like you used to have. You used to have a bit of an afro, didn't you? Well, no, in the 80s, we used to do what was called crimping. We crimped our hair. Yeah. With crimping irons. Terrible things. Always had burns all over your scalp. Did you? Mm. <sighs> well, mind our ego as we climb over the low boundary wall and enter Ken Shelley. Oh, okay. Oh! Careful, love. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah. It's a, it's a high enough wall for me to get over. Well, you did You did well, love. Um, so, well, why are we going to look well, in... I just realised that my organ is in Ken Shelley. Okay. And it's time for the first number. Yeah. Because uh, I have to do a song, Toya. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you sit by the door, love. I'll, I'll be on the other side. Because my keyboard's here. OK, but what if he wakes up? Well, he'll be delighted to see you. Now... I've got to sing a song for you. Yes, please. And then it'll be your turn to do a turn. Yeah? Fantastic. I can't which, wait. Which is coming up. You're going to sing one of your numbers, one of your, your big hits, if possible, Toya. Okay. There's a few of them. Excited, isn't you? It's very exciting. Oh. I can't wait. You don't have to. <coughs> uh, have you ever given blood, Toya? No, I haven't. Well, I have. What's it like? This is a story all about it. Okay. I'm feeling rather good Cos I've just given blood You'd think I'd be feeling bad But two custard creams I've had And that's the benefit Of doing your little bit Civic duty's fun When there's biscuits in your tum Surrounded by my fellow Blood donors turning yellow Friendly but mouth's too full Of biscuits to say hello no eye contact at all, you know. Uh, but it's, um, I was listening. No, no, no. I meant from, uh, from the blood donors. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing. Then. Apart from the the lady giving out tea at the end. An hour since giving blood, and feeling rather good. I'm miserable, it seems, about those custard creams. For although I had two, sufficient, I think, don't you? A thought is troubling me That I could have had three And I could have had four I could have had even more I could have had the Viscount That was lying on the floor I planned to pick it up As I headed out the door But the lady, she was watching me So I just said thanks for the tea And wandered home in misery Wishing I'd not given blood at all. Yeah. That's oh, very sad. It is sad. Um, and it gets sadder to you. Oh, OK. Because I should be proud as punch at successfully donating. But I need something to munch and me blinking plasters chafing. Of custard creams, I'm right out. I wish I'd had that bike out. But the lady, she was watching me So I just said thanks for the tea And wandered home in misery Wishing I'd not given blood at all Oh, you can't be like that. That's not the right attitude. No. No. I mean, you just go home, think about it. And well, I've been forget. back since. Oh, you have? Uh, twice, Was yeah. it a better experience It then? was. Um, I had two Orange Club biscuits and it was sufficient. OK. <sighs> Toya, I'm, I've got a confession to make. I feel very bad. Well, um, don't feel bad. Just well, come out with it. What it is, it's my wife, Mary. Uh, she thinks that you're a bit wild. OK. She hasn't She hasn't met the new Toya. She thinks that you were going to damage the things in the lounge. Because you, you did a video on YouTube, didn't you? Is it, yes, for is I want to be, be free. free. And you're breaking up chairs, you're, you're throwing washing powder around. Well, I can do that if you want me to, but <laughs> no, you know, don't. normally I don't do well, that kind of thing. No, it's just, it's there in black and white. Well, it's in colour, isn't it? But yeah, but do you want me to kind of play along with it and upset Mary? No, no, I don't. I'm just trying to explain why we've got you out in the chalet. Oh. Because Mary's tidying, she's putting valuables away. Because at one point, don't you, you pull flowers out of a vase? Why yeah, did you do with that? Because I was in a studio and I thought, why not do it? There was room to make a mess. And yeah. I also smashed up a wedding cake and was wrapped in silver foil and broke out of it. And does yeah. she really believe that because that was a video and happened on a video that I'm like that in real life? 
I knew you weren't. Wait a minute. Um, Am I out here in your garden, in this hut, because I'm not allowed in your house? You are. Um, in fact, we can go in now, I'm sure. It won't be a problem. OK. Um, oh, hey, shh. Someone's outside the chalet. Who's in there? Stay, stay where you are. That's Ken. What, is he stirring? No, I've changed my mind. Come out and show yourself. Ken obviously thinks he's got intruders. Come on. Why don't you just open the door and, and show your face? Because uh, you're closer to come the on. door. Okay, and, um, you know, that'll be fine. Put your hands up. OK. Oh! Sawyer, I know the door's a bit stiff, but you've just whacked Ken in the face. I'm sorry. Oh. Try it, Wilcox. I might have known. Mary's right. You are a danger Oof. to the public and to me. You've hurt me. I think I've got a nosebleed. I'm really sorry. Do you want a tissue? No, I'm going back to the house. You stay away from me. No. I didn't mean to do it. Well, you did. And if I stick around, you might do it again. So, I'm off. Oh. Toya, let Ken go. OK. Um, that, that wasn't good. I mean... No. And he's now going to go and tell Mary. Well, he was stood right in the way of the door, wasn't he? Well, I didn't mean to do it, to yeah. put it that way, but he's You did open it quite uh, quickly. Well, it's, it's a garden but, shed. You have to push these things. Well, let's try and forget about it and move on with the next item. Your turn to be a turn, respect from me to earn. Don't wriggle like a worm, don't go bright red and squirm. It's your turn to be a turn. So I don't think you need to have every confidence that you'll be fine. Well, look, I'm going to do it sitting, because that's kind of, you know, it's just me and Chris Wong on guitar. Mm. There's no reason for me to be running around, and I don't need to be jumping on your sofas or anything like that. Oh, good. Yeah, well, Mary will be delighted to hear that. Um, she's just in the kitchen at the moment, transferring the cereal into Tupperware boxes. Oh, come on. So, well, you know, she just needs to be reassured. And if you do a nice, gentle number now, uh, that'll happen. Oh, OK. We're back at the lounge now, listeners. Um, yep, Toya's seated. And, uh, and you, Chris, you seem, um, even though you're standing, you seem quite sedate. I'm fine. Yeah? Yeah. You seem very laid back. That's the job, isn't it? I don't know. Some guitarists are very jumpy. Uh, not me. <clears throat> the lead guitarist of Marmalade. I seem to remember he used to be... Uh... No, um, uh, Racy. Racy? Do you remember Racy? I do remember Racy. Some girls will. Yeah. Some girls won't. Some girls need a lot of loving. All the girls I meet won't. <clears throat> I see. I'm bored. Sorry to hear that. I don't want to go to school. Don't want to be nobody's fool. I want to be free. I want to be me. I don't want to be sweet and neat. I don't want somebody living my life for me. I want to be free. I'm going to turn this world inside out. Going to turn suburbia upside down gonna walk the street scream and shout gonna crawl through the alleyway being very loud i don't wanna be told what to wear as long as you're warm who cares wanna be free i wanna be me so what if i dye my hair i'm still got a brain up there and i'm gonna be free i'm gonna be me i'm gonna Turn this world inside out Gonna turn above ya upside down Gonna walk the street, scream and shout Gonna crawl through the alleyways, being very loud Tear down the wallpaper, turf out the cat Tear up the carpet and get rid of that Oof. Blow up the TV, blow up the car no. Without these things, you don't know where you are Sorry. Burn down the scum, all magazines Pull down the abattoirs and all that's obscene and here comes Everything Mary. in life should be totally free sure. Live sure. and live I'm sorry, Mary mm. You were right after all Yeah, and have you seen what she did to Ken? Where are you going? Going upstairs to hide the pillows before that little madam gets hold of them and there's feathers everywhere. No. No, Mary's wrong. It's just a song. 
gonna turn this world Come on, upside world. down. Gonna turn suburbia inside out. Nice one, gonna walk the street. Scream and shout. I'm gonna crawl through the alleyway. Be, be very, very loud. loud. I'm gonna Whoa. be free. I'm gonna be free. I'm gonna be free. I'm gonna be free. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Hey, I feel quite. Uh, you know, I want to um, scream in a channel, <clears throat> kick the brickwork. That music's designed to uh, invigorate. Well, and to whip up uh, hysteria and uh, public disorder. So I'm not sure it's a good idea. And anyway, I've got to go and ring Gordon Giltrap now. OK. Because it's time for... Top tips on the telephone Direct from Hollywood to my home The stars get on the dog and bone For top tips on the telephone Hello. Oh. Hello, uh, could I speak to Gordon Giltrap, please? You're, you're speaking to him. Am I? Hello, Gordon, it's John Shuttleworth here. Hey, John, how you doing? Well, <clears throat> I'm not so bad. Listen, uh, we've rung to find out uh, your top tips. Because you're a big star, Gordon, you had a massive hit with the uh, heart song. Let's hear a little snatch of that, if we may. That'd be lovely. Oh, I love that, uh, Gordon. That brings back the face of Judith Chalmers. <laughs> Lovely. Wasn't Judith Chalmers on the other side, John? Wasn't she on Wish You Were Here? Oh, was she? But I, I, I can understand why you will have made that mistake, because mm -hmm. uh, a few years ago I got a call from the other side, and uh, they said, would you like to write some music for our holiday programme, which was Wish You Were Here? Oh. Uh, so at one point I had the music for both holiday programmes. Right, and how does that go? Uh, I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> well, you don't need to because I've got a recording of that right here. Oh, bless you. <laughs> so is that, and what's that one called? I think it's called the Carnival, if I remember right, yeah. So you don't play it regularly in your gigs? Like, you know, occasionally I played it at gigs. But mm. the wonderful thing about doing all this stuff for television, uh, well, not that much, but the, the ones that are fairly high profile, is that it led on to the, the zenith of my tune writing career uh, for television. And I'd like to share this with you, John. Yes. You're actually speaking to the man who wrote the music for World Bowls. <laughs> Really? Oh, how cool is that? So, listen, have you got an agent, Gordon? Because I, you know, I want to get some of my songs uh, commercially promoted. And my agent's rubbish. You know, Ken Worthington. It's, it, it's harder today than it ever was. Um, yeah. There's usually companies, they call that that, that um, specialise in, in, in getting uh, music onto television. And uh, usually, if you've, got a good, if you've got a good publisher, they will do that for you. Right. Um, Have you got any other uh, top tips, Gordon, for aspiring artists? Top tips? Um, well, you've got to practice. Yes. You've got to practice. People say to me, do you still practice? I said, are you kidding? I said, I've got to practice to hang on to what I had 20 years ago. Because mm -hmm. yeah. the older you get, it's, you know, it doesn't get any easier. But your memory goes, Gordon. You might forget to practice. <laughs> but anyway, Gordon, um, thanks very much for talking to me. It's been a pleasure, John. <clears throat> On John Shuttleworth's Lounge Music. Bye. Bye, John. <laughs> That's a good jingle, isn't it? Quite proud of that one. Uh, Toya, hello. Hello. Just caught Toya looking out of the window. Not at Ken's Answer and Gretel, shall he? But at uh, our Karen's rabbit touch. Oh, what kind of rabbit have you got? We haven't got a rabbit, love. Uh, it died a good few years ago. So why have you still got the hut? Well, because Plonker's reconditioned engine from his Datsun's in there. 
Oh, okay, that's that's yeah. unique. Well, it is, and we want it to, to go. We've had enough, but he, he keeps saying he's going to come round. Well, how long has it been there? About uh, six years. Well, why don't you sell it on eBay? The hutch or the engine? Both. Unless you're going to get another rabbit. No, I don't think we are. But what about you, Toya? Because uh, you, lo you love rabbits, don't you? I've read on Ken's tablet. I uh, wouldn't put a rabbit in a hutch. Would you not? No, my, my rabbit lives free around my house. Mm. It's agrophobic, so it won't go outside anyway. I see. And is it true that if uh, your husband's snoring uh, and keeping the rabbit awake, he has to go out? Yes, there's a snore room in our house, and that's where Robert goes if he's being noisy, because we don't like to disturb the rabbit. Right. Back to your, <clears throat> your school days, which we've not really touched upon. Oh, OK. This is a little bit alarming, Toya, but Why? I've read somewhere that um, when Lady Thatcher... Well, she Margaret wasn't Thatcher. Lady Thatcher. 1972, she, she was, came to your school. Yeah, she was the Minister of Education, and my school was in Birmingham, and it was a very posh private school, all girls, C of E. And she came to give a speech, and by this time I was a pretty disruptive pupil, and I managed to nick my father's alarm clock, my brother's, my sister's, and mine. And oh. I got into the school early, and I went under the school stage, and I set the alarms to go off at um, 3 p.m. in in three-minute intervals right. away from each other, and they did. And Was like, there a bomb attached? No. No, thank God you see, for that. Uh, well, the thing is, I did this innocently, and if I, you know, if you did that today, you you just end up in prison. But the clocks went off, and Margaret Thatcher was standing at the mic, and she was holding her blue handbag, which she even had in 1972, and she just stopped talking paused and then carried on talking and she realised it was a prank but also everyone else in the hall realised I'd set the prank up because I was the only person that did that kind of thing back then uh -huh. um, and virtually everyone just turned around and looked at me. Did you get the slipper? No I didn't actually because they couldn't prove it was me and but yeah. I've kind of I've enjoyed telling people ever since. Have you? Well shame on you. Why? <clears throat> that you've enjoyed telling the story should be I've, your head should be hung in shame. Well, it's not. Well, let's give Toya one more chance to redeem herself with her second and final number, which should be good, because it's one of mine. OK. Here comes the jingle. Under the covers, we're not talking lovers, cavorting, the thought brings a blush to my cheek. Under the covers is a chance to hear others Sing my songs and me to sing theirs once a week Chris Wong, take it away. When I wake up in the morning I get washed and dressed my hair is combed and neatly parted, I like to look my best A clean white hanky is selected from the middle drawer Then I make my way into the kitchen, can you guess what for? Ooh, to eat my breakfast, yes, but not fried eggs and bacon I think you think I'm a cook breakfast girl, but you're very much mistaken Not even toast and marmalade, for that I have no room Apparent very soon. Ooh, ooh. Is she Mary? Ooh, ooh. Toya's a reformed character. Ooh, yeah. She's not lashing out. Well, Just occasional hand gesture. Oh, here comes the chorus. I'm a cereal, cereal eater. A cereal, cereal eater. How does it feel to meet a cereal, cereal eater? Complex frosty sugar puffs and a new one, Octavita. I just cannot get enough. I'm a cereal, cereal eater. Yeah. Come on there, punch the air. Way. I want to see that Hawaiian wave oh. in your living yes. room. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. She Yo. is. Yeah. You may be amazed by the amount of maize I munch each morn. Yes, so am I. But what about the corn? What corn? The corn I carry on consuming deep into the day. Wheatabix for elevenses, uh. for afternoon tea. Special K. Hey, what do you think, Ken? Oh, excellent. 
She's giving the song a Mexican quality job. Yes. Um, oh, yes. here we go. A cereal, cereal eater. A cereal, cereal eater. How does it feel to meet her? Cereal, cereal eater. Cornflakes, frosted, sugar pass, and a new one up to beat her. I just cannot get enough. I'm a cereal, cereal, cereal eater. I'm a cereal, cereal eater. Oh. Marvellous. Yeah, Excellent. It was. Thank you. And uh, I, I, I want to apologise for uh, for earlier. Yeah. Because I know you didn't mean to bash me on the nose. That's fine. No, no apology needed. Thank you. As long as you're okay. I'm fine. And I'm, I wonder whether you'd be interested in coming onto my rostrum. Oh. Are you seeking representation? Um. Uh, what kind of artist do you have on your roster? Oh. Oh. Got Janet Leroux. Who does finger picking? While Ken okay. attempts in vain to woo smoke. yet another guest a cheek, a into his stable, there's just time to say uh, thank you very much for listening. Uh, like an acrobat. <sighs> and we're going to finish with part two of Under the Covers. And then I've got Alan the Opera Singer. Once again, um, there I'm, is no time to do I Ken in the conservatory. Fit onto your roster. I'm afraid. Thanks, Ken. It's really kind of you. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of fully booked anyway. She's fully booked, Ken. No. And, uh, Sorry, I must apologise No, that, No, he's, that's fine. And he's always doing this. I, I oh. just don't think I'm quite right for your roster. Is it roster? I thought it was rostrum. Roster. It's rostrum. Oh, shush, Ken. We're going to finish the show with a medley of Toya's hits. Oh, oh how brilliant. Lovely. Do you recognise it, Toya? I have to say... Not yet. No. Hang on. It's a mystery, oh. it's a mystery, it's a mystery, it's a mystery to me. Shot in the dark, big question mark. But what's the question? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh. Good morning, universe. How are you today, today? Be hi. I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for asking. Oh, hey, oh, well, thunder in the mountains, how does that, how does that go, I've forgotten, oh, you have, thunder in the mountains, <laughs> rubbish, is it something like that, thunder and lightning, thundering, oh, shambles, mm. can yeah. you hear rubbish, yeah. I don't think I want her on my rostrum, no. she's out of key, mm. yeah. you better read the end credits Mary, unless you'd like to do it this week, oh, go on then. John Shuttleworth's lounge music was written and performed by Graham Fellows with special guests Toya mm, and Gordon Giltrap. It was produced by Don Ellis and it was a Sheep Ken production for BBC Radio 4. That status quo, innit? Hang on. Can I have my lounge back, please? I'm going to turn suburbia upside down. No, you're not.